Hello everybody, good evening and welcome to another weekly review with Grey White FX for the 7th of, for the 7th, for the 7th to the 11th of November 2022. So, without taking so much of the time, let's get down to what we have for the week. So, we're going to start off with the economic calendar. So looking at the economic calendar, we don't have the. Uh, it's not so much heavy, like compared to last week. Though we have some high impact news, but they start off from Thursday. They start off from Thursday. So Friday is going to be a dull trading day, as you can already see. There is um, French bank holiday, card bank holiday. So Friday might just be a very lackluster trading day for New York session. So, that out of the way, let's get down to business. So, starting off with, um, starting off with the NASDAQ. So, looking at the NASDAQ from the week, we have a break below here, and this happens to be our daily range on the week. So, on the weekly, this pair is still down. If we move into the daily on NASDAQ, we can see that price seems to be in a kind of a range. As you can see, price seems to be in a kind of a range. If we move down to the 4 hour time frame, we can clearly see that we've broken below this level. And the possibility exists that we might see a little bit of a retracement. I might see a retracement going into the new week and that, that might be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we might see a retracement going into the new week because we've broken this level, we've taken liquidity below it and so we might see a little bit of a retracement and probably a continuation back to the downside if price stays below this level. If price stays below this high, as long as price stays below this high, there's a tendency it may seek this liquidity. So that's it for the NASDAQ. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is the dollar index. So looking at the dollar index, it's on the daily we have a break of structure to the upside. That's sorry on the weekly. On the daily, um, it still looks bullish on the daily. Price still looks bullish on the daily. Still looks bullish on the daily. But we have this break here and we've had the retracement. This high was not taken out. So this is our daily range 1.111394 to 10954. So looking at this now, if we go down to the four hour time frame. If price stays above this low, as on Monday, if it doesn't spike this low on Monday, we might see a little bit of a corrective move. If this high here at um, this high at um, that's previous week has 111.14 remains, then we might see a little bit of a retracement because if you look at this on the the Friday's candle closed as a heavy engulfing. The possibility exists that we might see a little bit of a retracement. If price stays below the previous week, then we'll see price target these lows here. And if you look at, we have what seems like equal lows at this level here. So price may go on for it. So the dollar index, we might see a little bit of a downside this week on the dollar index. The next pair we're going to be looking at is Euro USD. Looking at the Euro, Euro USD on the weekly, we have this long, long lower week, long lower week on the weekly. If we go down to the daily, we can see that we've had a break here. So this might just be a retracement and this might be the continuation. If we go down to the four hour time frame, we already have this impulse move. So there's a possibility we might see a retracement 
And if that retracement stays above this um, other block here, then we might be going in for 99.75 or this highs, either of these highs. So we might see a little bit of retracement going into the week and a move higher. So that's it for the EURUSD. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the GBPUSD. Looking at the GBPUSD, price projected from this structure on the weekly and there is a downside. So you can see there's an inverse. The GBP USD has a bearish setup on the weekly, but the euro has a bullish setup. So that means that strength is more on the euro. So we have a break of market structure here. This is a retracement, and this might be a continuation on the um, GBP USD. So going into the four hour time frame, this is what we have on the four hour time frame. This is our daily range 1.1060. To 1.1645 and you can see price dropped into here already so price is at this very shorter block we might see a correction and a continuation to the upside as long as price stays above 1.1060 so the next we're going to be looking at is gold so looking at gold Just like I've been pointing out, price has not closed below this level. As you can see, it. there's a uniformity on the weekly. It's not closing below this level. Has refused for one, two, three, four, five, six, six weeks now. So if we go down to the daily time frame, we have a massive bullish engulfing that has taken several swing um, highs. That's to the buy side. Going into the new week. The possibility exists that we might see a corrective move and a continuation to the upside. Liquidity above 1669, 1675 has been taken out. The next high is coming up here. Price is just below it. So if price doesn't spike above it on Monday and starts to drop, then this high and this impact and this structure point here will be the draw for liquidity going into the new week. So, you're putting your annotations, this is what you're going to have. You'll be waiting for price to retrace and to rally up into this structure point here. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is Euro GBP. Looking at the Euro GBP, we have a bullish engulfing on the weekly. So this might this is looking like a retracement and a continuation, but we'll have to wait and see how the week looks like. So this high. There's another block here. Price has spiked this high into this other block and pulled back on Friday. So if we go into the new week, this is what we have. We have kind of like this is daily range high, this is a daily range low. So the possibility is this that we might see a little bit of retracement into here before a continuation back to the upside of this pair. That is, if price does not go above the previous week high at 0 0.8785, if price stays below it, then we might be seeing price come back into the range. But if this structure point here gets taken out, then the next area of interest will be this point down here for a continuation to the upside. As we can already see, we have a break in market structure at this point. This um, bearish other block has been taken out as this, as this. So the possibility price may seek discount before continuation back to the upside. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is GBP CHM. So looking at this pair, this reacted from this structure point and it has a bearish engulfing set up on the weekly time frame. Has a very set up on the weekly time frame. If we go down to the daily, you can see that this is looking like a retracement of this break of structure to the upside. This is the daily range, this point to this point. So this might just be a retracement. So if we go down into the four hour time frame, we can see that this other block here and this will be broken by price. So price is finding support of this structure point. So this might retrace and then move back lower within the week. 
There's a possibility this might retrace a bit to the upside and then come back to pick this liquidity. And then, if it will continue back to the upside, it may continue. So, the next pair we are going to look at is the pound yen. So, looking at the pound yen, this peak liquidity, and we have a bearish railway track on the weekly time frame. It took out the high, took out the low, and this is a railway track on the weekly time frame. If we go into the daily time frame, structure has been broken here and i can say to an extent this area here but not fully so what we are looking at this coming into the new week on the far time frame is a possibility of a retracement within 17 13 and this look if price we should note this structure point here if price gets rejected here then price will come to sweep this equal lose on the weekly so that settles it for this week I thank you all for taking your time to, uh, to watch this. If you find the video interesting, don't forget to subscribe and like. I wish everybody a beautiful and blessed trading week ahead. Thank you.